Hello and welcome to Security. This is a continuation of the Cybersecurity Home Lab project. And today we're going to be begin the installation of the virtual machines, starting with the PFSense firewall. To do that, we first of all have to configure networking. And to do that, we'll be adding a switch, a virtual switch, which I'm going to name LAN switch. And this switch is going to be the switch of my virtual environment to which all my virtual machines and my virtual environment are going to be connected to. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add a port group to the virtual switch I just created. And I'm going to call that port group LAN port group. And this is a port group to which my virtual machines are going to be connected. So I'm going to link this port group to the LAN switch that I just created. So now that I've linked the port group, I can now go ahead and begin the installation of the virtual machine starting with the PFSense firewall. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a virtual, virtual machine. I'm going to give it the name PFSense. I'm going to select the type order and free BSD because that is the underlying operating system for PFSense. So next, I'm going to select the hardware specifications. And um, the most important thing is to add another VM, another network adapter. One is going to be connected to the LAN port group for with, that's my virtual environment. And one is going to be connected to the VM network, which signifies my home network in this place. And that's going to act as the, the one, one interface for the firewall. So I already downloaded the ISO file onto my host PC, but I need to upload it to the server in order to use it for the installation of the PSN. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to put a link in the description for where you can get the PSN ISO file. And once I have that, I can basically, I'm basically done with creating the virtual machine and all that's left is to launch and start the installation process. Okay, so now I'm done creating the PFSense virtual machine and I'm going to power it on in order to begin the installation. Now open the console and new tab so I can view it. Now just wait for the booting up process. Okay, so I'm just going to accept the license agreement and click on install create PSNs. So I'm just gonna keep leave virtually every setting on default. So now the installation process starts up and it does take a little time, not much of time, but I'm just gonna pause the video and put it up, put it back up when it's done installing. Okay, so now it's done. It asks if I want to open up a shell to make any modifications. I'm just gonna say no. And Next is going to give me the option to reboot and I'll, I'll select that option. So here I have the option to reboot a pull-up shell and I'm just going to select reboot. And once it's done rebooting, I can begin the initial configuration of the PSNS firewall. So we are in the initial configuration of the PSN firewall. It asks if I want to set up VLANs and I select no. So um, now it's time to set up the interfaces, which interface is a WAN interface and which interface is a LAN interface. So what I'm going to do is look at the networking 
um, tab of the virtual machine to be able to identify via the MAC address, which is uh, which is at the adapter one and which one is adapter two. So I'm going to view the MAC address, MAC addresses here to know which is which. And with that, I know that um, VMX zero is the one interface and VMX one is a LAN interface. So I have selected, set that accordingly. Ask if I want to proceed, I'm going to select yes. And it's going to configure the interfaces. So now it's done configuring the interfaces. You can see the one interface got an IP address via DHCP. That's from my home network. And the LAN interface has a static IP address. So what I'm going to do is configure the LAN interface to use a different IP address, IP address range to avoid any mix up. And I'm going to configure it to use the IP address range um, .88.1 and with the subnet bits of 24. So I made an error here at first, I was specifying the, using the um, order notation rather than the subnet, the CIDR notation for the subnet bits. So I later corrected that and specified 24 um, bits. And also I'm going to enable DHCP on, on this, um, firewall for now, but I'm later going to deactivate this when I set up the Windows server, which is going to be the domain controller as well as the DHCP server for the network. So I have set up the range of IP addresses that should be given out via DHCP, and I have selected yes to revert to HTTP as a web configurator protocol. So it's going to configure the new settings, and with that, the uh, firewall is ready. Here I have installed the Windows 10 machine and connected it to the LAN port group such that it's getting an IP address from the firewall. So with that, I can I can reach the management interface for the firewall. I use the password admin and the default password PSNs, and I'm into the administrat administrative interface. And I'm just going to set up the initial configuration. I'm going to give it the host name router one And I'm going to specify my domain, which is going to be called um, homelab.local. So I'm going to leave it as default override DNS. I'm going to leave the time server as default, but select my time zone. Which is Eastern, US Eastern. Next. Because it's a virtual environment, I'm going to remove, in, remove blocking of private networks. And now I'm going to change the administrative password. So now I'm going to reload the firewall so my new settings can be configured. And with that, I'm done with the initial configuration wizard. I'm just going to accept the license agreement. And yeah, the firewall is ready to use. 
So with that, we're done setting up the firewall. And in the next video, we'll be setting up the Windows Server, which is the domain controller. Thanks for watching.